In this video, we're going to look at how to do headings and paragraphs within HTML. Now, you take for granted when you do something like in Word document, a heading or paragraph that it happens automatically. Inside HTML, we have to always tag everything that we want to display to the screen. Now, there's a hierarchy of headings that you can have inside HTML. There's actually six, one being the biggest, six being a subheading all the way down. So if we save this, this is in uh, Notepad. So if I save it, remember when we save it, we have to select it as all files. Then we save it to where we want to save it to. I'm gonna overwrite my test here. Remember when doing HTML, you must uh, donate what sort of file type it is. So I've got test.html. I select the save button. In this case, I'm overwriting it. If I then go and open up my test, you can see here that I have my different size headings here. Now in CSS, which we'll be looking at in the future, we will be looking at how you can format these headings. And also in the next video, we'll be looking at also some formatting in HTML. The next step that I want to look at is I want to look at how paragraphs. So usually when you write something down, most people assume when you write something down, as you hit the carriage return or enter, that automatically you will display. Now, not so the case in HTML. You need to have a tag that denotes exactly what's happening. Otherwise, HTML ignores all the white space. And this is the same with tags. Tags aren't case sensitive. So if you accidentally have uppercase, lowercase, the web browser will ignore it. 